Hey guys, we're back at it again this week, and I wanted to do something just a little bit different. We're going to do by the numbers. So what I'm going to do is show you four golf access homes. They're all in a little bit different areas. They're all going to be relatively brand new. I think one of them might be two years old, but that's as old as it gets. In fact, I think it's this one right behind us. You can see why I wanted to do this one. So stick around so you can see this whole home. It's amazing. But we're going to be going through uh, the payments. So your monthly payment, insurances, taxes, all the things that go into um, purchasing golf access homes. And you're going to know exactly what kind of money you're going to need. Brian Fulton, my lender, he's the one that gave us all this information to kind of absorb. And again, most of it's going to be dead on. Some of it's going to be a little bit um, mm, ambiguous because each situation is a little different from one another. So we do need to get an insurance agent uh, to nail this down and, and keep it super accurate. But right now we're just going, we're trying to give you a, a roundabout idea. We're using the LEPA system. LEPA is the Lee property appraiser site. That's going to let us estimate what the future taxes are because most of these homes, they're still giving taxes based upon land value only, not the house. So when you see taxes of $1,500 or $2,000 on a brand new home on the water with a pool, you know something's off, right? That's why it hasn't adjusted yet. It adjusts the next year. Once it's been CO'd and ready to convey, that next year is when it takes over the full value of the home. And we're going to get to all that. But if you don't get all the information that you need out of this, comment down below, check out one of the other videos or do what everyone's doing. Call, text, and email. Actually, Zoom calls are taking over too. A lot of Zoom requests. And we also have our mobile app, so feel free to use that. But let's get moving on this. And I want to show you a new tool that we just came up with. Okay, so Eric is working with me now, and Eric comes from New York, uh, so there's a lot of insight that he's given me from his market, and he built this map. So basically what this map is going to allow us to do, each one of these red icons, if you click on it, it tells you the max tide height. This is, this is the clearance for the bridge, so eight feet, six inches when it's high tide. So that means you get a little bit more when it goes low tide. Now, the further you go up a channel, the less that the tidal changes are going to be affecting it. If you're all the way down close in this green range, that's where you're going to see the most tidal effect. In any case, um, everything's color-coded for a reason. You'll see on the left-hand side, green, 10 to 25 minutes to open water, blue, 25 to 45, and so on. And what you do in order to find out where the property that you're interested in, where it falls in, go up to the little search icon, and we are, we are going to go ahead and type in the first address that we're going to, to uh, preview. And you can see where it pops up on the map. Now, there's no color coding. Why is that? Well, because this little strip of water, while it's still considered golf access, you have to see the bridge you have to get under. I'm going to tell you, my boat, I would not feel very comfortable taking it through this thing. It is basically a rounded storm pipe and a sewer pipe and I wouldn't feel comfortable running my tee top. I, I only have a 22 foot center console with the tee, but I'll tell you, I don't feel comfortable with this. I know the beam on the boat is eight foot, six inches. So again, we're pushing limits on, on too many things for me to feel good about running it through something like this. So you have to make up your mind if that's something that you can do or not. But here's another challenge that you have to overcome. Remember, we talked about the commute times, right? Red. That's an hour and a half to two hours. So pretty much guaranteed that that home is going to be a very long trip out. You have to finagle your way through this whole system up here and then work your, your way all the way down the coast here with the spreader up against the mangroves and to the lock, the Chiquita lock. Yes, that's still there. It was damaged in Hurricane Ian. It is not operational, but it still hasn't been removed. So these are many of the challenges, but this home is also going to be the least expensive one on our list and we're going to go ahead and preview it now okay so this is a brand new 2023 home and it's going to have a number of features on it they're going to help keep our costs down so you're going to you're going to see exactly what i mean as we go through this first off this home as you can see done very well with the wood plank tile floors uh, not the lvt that people are using now it does have the quartz backsplash all the all the fixtures and the things you'd be looking for on a home of this caliber. It does also have the storm protection. It has the impact windows and doors, cathedral ceilings, 
this home also comes furnished. So all the light fixtures, the draperies, you know, the dining set, the couches, the TV, it's all included. Now, this isn't turnkey. Turnkey would be also dishes and glasses and linens and things. This home was staged for this, so they're kind of allowing to pass on this furniture. But aside from the furniture, let's get into the house. This is a four bed, two bath, two car garage home situ situated on a quote unquote golf access canal. There is no dock and lift. So that would be an additional charge for you to put those things in. The home has all its assessments paid off. So you will not have to worry about that. And one thing in reading the description a little bit closer, it doesn't have flood insurance. So that's gonna save you a little bit more money. Uh, there is a warranty on all these new construction homes. Uh, if it has never been conveyed to anybody, you'll get a at least one year warranty on the whole home and a 10 year structural warranty. That is a Florida state law that you get that 10 years. So the builder will be responsible for taking care of the home if anything foundationally is wrong with it. Now, as far as the costs to live in something like this, this is one of the examples where land only taxes, it was showing 2609 um, as of the printing of this uh, information. And we went to LIPA, um, Brian Fulton, my lender, he helped me with these numbers. Uh, he's my numbers guy, I'm the house guy, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, we did the LIPA site, and it's the property appraiser site, and it tells us an estimated tax after it closes at the new sales price. This home, with its homestead included, homestead being that you have discounts that you get for making your primary home, as well as a cap on any price increases of 3% at any one time. So you can really save yourself some money over the years, especially as the market starts to jump back up again. Anyway, 9,500 is what the taxes are in this particular home and $1,800 in insurance. Yes, that's it because it's new construction. New construction has all the codes already done. You have all the safety features that you need. So it makes it very easy to keep that price down. So the PITI, principal interest taxes insurance, that number is $4,020 a month. That's how much it's going to cost you to live in this home. And that's with 30% down and a 780 credit score. You're going to want to make sure that you have all that information when you're talking to Brian to, to best understand your situation and get you the best price. Um, now, remember, this home is still two hours up the system. If that doesn't bother you, it also, as I mentioned, was the lowest price on the list at $674,000. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into our second property and we're just gonna keep this thing moving right along. I have to share my screen again, guys. Sorry about that. Matt Lachey Isles, Matt Lacha. <laughs> For those of you that have trouble with that pronunciation is Matt Lachey. And as you can see, it's green. Look at that. That sucker's right there. And that is, if you remember, 10 to 25 minutes out. This looks like it's just up, over, and around. That's probably a 15-minute jaunt to get to the pass. And now you're full, full throttle if you'd like to be. But this is direct access, no bridges. Usually one of the most expensive properties because of it. Now, this particular neighborhood is a little bit uh, more tighter quarters. Um, it might be by way of the way the area was platted out in the beginning. So note that when we're looking at the property, your neighbors will be a little bit closer than maybe some of these others. Uh, the canal sizes are gonna play a part in how big of a boat you can get. So while this is direct access, no bridges, the canal might not be big enough for you to get that really big boat that you want. However, if I remember correctly, I think there was a pretty decent sized boat in this channel. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over to that and get you going on the property tour. Okay guys, as I shared with you, this home is not finished yet. It's It said it was a 2022. I expected to show up and find it finished. Uh, it is not finished. so. Uh, pardon the mess here, but we're just trying to get an idea of what you can get for a price range in an area. This is direct access, no bridges. Um, it is 
a three bed, two bath, two car garage, 1830 square feet. Um, it does still have the cathedral ceiling in there, as you saw. Um, on, in this case, the assessments are paid. And one thing I want you to know about this is that the taxes, while they're not showing yet, it's showing 1570.79, um, just because of the fact that it's still land only, even though it's been a really long time since, <laughs> since this thing started. But the taxes, we did go on LIPA and found them to be $12,500. So it is gonna be a little bit more for this. Um, it partially is gonna be off of the fact of the access and where it's from and the price range of the home. Uh, insurance on this is about 3,600. That 3,600 a year, 1,800 of it is flood. And again, that's something that could be variable. You might get it a little bit lower if you shop it. I think you you remember me telling the story about other clients that shopped the rate and did a great job uh, bringing that down. But this home does not have a dock or lift either. And when we look at the all-in PITI, principal interest taxes insurance, we're at $5,615 a month. So with that PITI being there, it is again, it rolls everything into it. So yeah, it's, it's all included, but uh, the purchase price on this home is 930,000. And you can see what you get. I mean, it's, it's done nicely. It's again, tighter quarters. This particular home didn't even have electric. So I'm, I'm sorry that the video isn't going to be as, as crisp, crisp and clear and show all the shiny parts, but uh, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Now this year, this home does also have the one year warranty and the 10 year structural. All right, we're out of here. The next one we're going to twenty thirteen old burnt store road north okay we see a whole nother color there don't we this one it is golf access obviously and it is one hour and 15 minutes to one hour and 45 minutes so it is close by the bridge so it's not going to be too awful long to get over to the spreader so that, that does cut it. It's probably closer to the hour and 15 minutes then. But keep that in mind as another thing you're going to be dealing with. Okay, now this home is going to be a uh, 2023 as well. So brand new construction. Uh, this one does not, once again, have its uh, full taxes in. So it's only showing 1400 right now. Taxes will eventually be 10,700 with the homestead. This home is unfurnished and it has one bridge to get to the, uh, to the spreader that will take you south. As you can see, the size of the boats again. Keep in mind, anytime you wanna know how big a boat you can have, Look at the other boats in the channel. There's another example of it. Insurance on this property is approximately $3,600 with 1,800 of that being flood. I believe that the flood insurance is gonna be a bit less than that just based upon the elevation that you see around here, but that'll be confirmed with the insurance company. This does not have storm shutters. This is gonna be manual shutters that you'll have to put on yourself. Um, and this one is also well and septic. So you need to know this because it's a different way of living. And if you don't want well and septic, don't go this far into the Northwest. You can get a whole home reverse osmosis on the home to 
I'll really allow your water to be better than what the city gives you. Uh, but you can see the kind of touches that come with uh, this home. And so far, we've had pretty nice quality across the board with each of the homes. They're all tile throughout. I haven't seen a stitch of carpeting yet, which is a great thing. Um, carpeting is not one of the high things on our list of what we want in our homes here in Florida. Um, just, a, just doesn't kind of fit the, the whole feel here. But with this particular home, the PITI, again, principal interest, taxes, and insurance, you're sitting at $4,912 per month. And that is attached to the $799, so call it $800,000 asking price for this home. It is a three bed, two bath with a two car garage and 1,815 square feet. This one also does have the flex den. So that three bedrooms, you could technically call it four or just have three in a den. Um, so it does give you a little bit of extra space. Nice walk-in pantry. Frosted glass keeps it from being so <laughs> obvious when it's cluttered. But you have the stainless steel there, obviously, and that is a fantasy brown granite. It's what I have in my home. Absolutely love it. Pool bath is vital, um, especially if you have young kids or if you're gonna have guests over often, keep them from dripping all over the house to come in. Believe it or not, I've seen homes that are million dollar homes, million and a half, two million that don't have a pool bath entrance. Like you literally have to go through the house to get to the bathroom. So having this pool bath is a big bonus. Uh, also the Tiki Hut that's down on the, on the uh, dock, You've got that taken care of already, but there's no lift. So you still have to invest the money if you want the lift to, to get your boat up out of the water. One, two, one, Northwest 38th Ave. Now you can see there's our little dot. There's our golf access. There's one bridge right here to get to the Northern Spreader. And with that color that we're working with, that's 25 to 45 minutes to open water. That is a nice commute. And it's going to be on the shorter end of that because it is so close to the bridge and to the uh, pass there. Let's go take a gander at the property. Okay, now this particular property, this is the one I told you, um, had that beautiful pool area at the very beginning. This is a 2021 home. So this is previously lived in. It's being used um, as a short-term rental at times. So um, my, don't mind you, the extra stuff in the home <laughs> as there's some visitors there, they actually left for me to do this. But this home is a three bed, three bath, absolutely amazing outdoor area i i don't think that you could ask for anything better um it does have the waterfall effect that's coming in and its sound is actually you know very beautiful it's a lot of open water you can see the size of the canals here it's very large great outdoor kitchen area with a seating area you can put a table in there if you'd like and that door does lead to a pool bath so it is a completely separate pool bath specifically for the pool area you have your refrigerator and you have your grill, the sink, literally everything is right there at your fingertips. The TV over on the wall. So this is a perfect party setup if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, back to the fact that this is also a 
three car garage and when we get out there you're not going to believe the, gar the garage it's absolutely gorgeous for anybody that likes more space maybe has a truck that they have to put away you can even put a boat in this garage and you're going to see exactly what i mean when we get out there 1957 square feet and that one bridge to get out um there is also propane a propane tank that's buried uh, with this property so that you can cook with gas Now the home is completely um, finished with impact windows and doors. It also has all its assessments in and paid. The insurance on this property is approximately 4,200 a year with 1,800 in flood. And the taxes, yes, the taxes on this one have already been decided, They've been getting paid at $12,335 a year. So that makes your all in PITI, principal interest, taxes, insurance, $6,628 a month. And you have to figure with that kind of payment, the asking price on this home is a little bit higher than the others. This will bring us to the top number that we've seen so far. And it's at $1.15 million. Uh, but you can see how tastefully this one was done how much detail has gone into it. Uh, just an absolutely beautiful home. There's an Amazon package over there. I must have left one here. <laughs> Seems to be uh, my favorite place. Anyway, this home is turnkey. This is another reason why I was thinking that this is a short-term rental because turnkey is um, something that normally happens when it is a short-term rental. It's very easy for them to turn it over. It's very easy for somebody that wants to continue the short-term uh, rental process everything's already there everything's already done you're ready to go this home also has a level two charging station an evi 240 i don't know anything about these evs so i'm just letting you know uh, if you are somebody that has uh, these electronic vehicles and needs a way to charge it there is a charging station already put into this um, into this property. As you saw already, there is no dock and lift. So that's something that you would have to definitely add if you were looking to uh, be boating in this area, which obviously you don't need this kind of access if you're not boating. Now, gents, hold on. Here we go, getting into this garage. I didn't believe it when I first saw it. I do love these garages. I was looking at one myself. But as you walk, there's your charging station. As you walk through, look at that depth. If you had any kind of a bass boat, I know that my, one of my clients, Kevin, he had a kind of a hybrid uh, bass boat. He would have loved to back it right in there. It would have fit perfectly. But that's for those people that really, really are looking for extra storage space. Maybe you have some toys and motorcycles. Uh, maybe you just have a third vehicle that just needs to be shoved back up in there. But that kind of space you're not going to find in many other homes that present as though they had a two car garage, right? Okay, so that is what we have found with our little uh, shopping experiment here and going in with the data, giving you the numbers, letting you know what the payment's going to be with this stuff. This will give you an idea now when you're looking at homes in these price ranges, what to expect. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, put them down below, but any questions whatsoever, check out one of these other videos. And if you have a specific question for me and my team, you can call, text, or email. Again, schedule a Zoom call. I'll put the link down below in the comments. 
or you can go ahead and check the mobile app. We have that available for you as well. If you want the link to that map that I showed you, let me know. We can send it to you. You'll have access the same way we do to find out how long it's going to take to get out. But with all that said, thanks again for showing up, and I look forward to seeing you next week.